All right, hello everyone, welcome back. Um, Mystic Magic here, and this is Neopets, the Darkest Fairy. Right, so we just finished Act Two. Now we're going into Act Three. Um, Act Three, both Tor and Roberta are finally um, teamed up again. Coincidentally, Roberta flew and fell. <laughs> I should fell right where Tor was. Um, I actually realize there's like one little thing I do want to note is um, if you notice, first of all. Roberta got pulled off of Solarin because of a little tornado? That was kind of weird. It was like, kind of booped her off, I guess. And the interesting thing is if you actually follow the Neopets lore in the TCG, there's actually a TCG card for a corrupted Solarin. I don't remember like what the card name is called or if it was just concept art. Um, but yeah, there's actually a corrupted version of him. But we never actually see... Um, we never actually see it in the game so it's just interesting to kind of note there okay but let's go ahead go back all right so Rebecca's tour press both L1 and R1 to switch between Roberta which are the flying minions okay so obviously they're gonna make us do it okay so these archers the easy thing about the minions is that they are always like, you can tell what element they are based on the colors. Oops. What am I doing? So for sure these guys are fire. Oh shit. Uh, it's really hard to aim them now. Because they kind of auto-aim. Oh good, she too is completely. Okay. So one thing you can do that a lot of people... Some people don't know that you can do. Is to actually, uh... Let me see if I can do it. Okay, I might have to get rid of the brute first. Okay, and the best thing to do is use Tor. Let me go ahead and switch so he moves using the water modes. Yeah, and it does have an annoying shock wave. Ah, and they chuck you too. Luckily the chuck doesn't actually do damage, it's just it's, it's just annoying. I just gotta reposition. Ow. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna switch to Roberta. So one thing Roberta can do is actually the that chain attack that Thor can do. Her rapid is better than his, but she can also do the chain attack. I think I mentioned that in a previous video. Okay. Cutscene. Are you okay? I'm fine. My name is Tor. Uh, Sir Tor, I guess. I'm a knight. I am Roberta. Thank you for helping me with that fight. You are quite good with that sword. You're pretty good with those spells yourself. Thank you. That was the first time I really had to... You have the other amulet. The other amulet? The Aisha who gave me this said I had to find its twin. She said it was important. Vitally important. A beggar gave me this one. He told me never to take it off. Listen, I know you don't know me, but Fairyland is in trouble. This... this twisted fairy... The darkest one you've ever seen? You've seen her too? She's taken Meridel as well. We have to stop her. Listen. My uncle is the king of Brightvale. If there is anywhere that we can get help, it's there. As long as she hasn't gotten there first, let's go. Okay. Alright, so they're just kind of like teaming up. I like to use Tor most of the time because I find he's a little bit easier to just do things. Also because he has the most life compared to the two. So he doesn't die as quickly. Roberta, a little bit weaker. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and save right here. <clears throat> and I'll cut the grass. So obviously we gotta get to Bright Vale. We must go to Bright Vale and warn King Hate. So this is kind of the um, right outside the outskirts of Merida. We're pretty close to where um, Billison's Blade is actually. 
So kind of that field where it was. Okay, let's get going. You know, I'm from Brightville. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Just follow the road to the right and we'll eventually see the city. You can also find your way to Brightville by looking at the yellow crest on the map. Yeah. So that's a nice thing. You can actually do that. So it's this way. It's just like a twisty path. If you go this way, this is where uh, Bright uh, Meridale is. However, this is the way. Let's go to Brightville more than However, if you notice, first of all, it's like I, get, I think I glitched that. It's supposed to be cloudy over here, but whatever. Anyways, the bridge is broken. You can't actually go to um, Merida until you fix the bridge, right? And obviously that became a quest right here. Okay, and actually, I'll go ahead and show you the quest. Yeah, if you remember the bridge builder from way back in Act 1, way in the beginning, right? That guy, he actually lives in Bogshot. So we're going to be able to go, like, get his help. Let's cut some juppies. It's not going to be a lot of juppies we don't have access to the farm anymore or for now um until we build the bridge again so whatever jumpies i can get i'm gonna get them i'm just gonna cut them the other thing why i like using tor more than roberta is because um he can cut grass easier <laughs> okay where loop woods beware where loops all right keep that in mind Cut more juppies. Cut. Alright. Uh, there's a bridge right here. Is there anything right there? No. There's actually stuff down here, I think. Um. Oh, there's like a peach bow. Peach, peach bow plant right there. Let's see if I can, I can cut it. Pretty worth a lot of peach bows. Okay, now I have to use the um, turtum here launch myself up. Oops. Oh no, I didn't mean for you to go over here. I didn't get to go over here. I think. Yeah, I think here. It's supposed to be where it goes. No, oh, third time. Come in. Yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, let me feed pet pet. Feed pet pet. There we go. Okay. Let's see if we can get it closer and closer. Cause I want it to be about here-ish. It's so slow. The turtle. I should yeah. see if it works. Maybe it might, it might work. Let's see. Huh? Nope. Yeah, you see where it's supposed to be. Right? Uh, there we go. Sometimes you have to do it twice. Boing. Oh, nice. Ah, oh, first try. Or second try. <laughs> Sometimes that, that's like one of the harder, harder things to do in this game. Come on, Tor. There we go. Okay, go on this bridge thing. Okay, let's keep on going. It's a lot of running in this game. Although, one of the things about this game is like, if you see any like, sudden paths like this, where it's like, huh, that looks like there could be something. There probably is something. Like, go ahead and check that out. Hop! Okay. Let's see if we can get Holy Clover! I'm feeling luckier already. Oh. Got a moat. Across. Yeah, this one actually works as a little side cut. If I kept going, I would have just kept going through here. Instead of taking that detour. Let's keep on keeping on. In the later streams, um, because there is going to be a lot of running back and forth, I am going to uh, probably fast forward this. Because I don't think you want to watch me running around as tour forever. Hmm, I wonder what that is. Let's go. Okay, so let's 
some jippies. Ooh, a lot of good red jippies right there. Buckshot swap. Okay, so obviously we know Buckshot is over there. And enemies are spawning over here. Right, and here's this store. You're the merchant. Mm. And don't find those awful monsters racing about. They don't like the look of my cart. Hmm. Interesting. He doesn't seem to be possessed, huh? Alright, so he has, has some pretty good stuff. This thing is handy. Starlight potion. I'm not gonna buy them right now. Um, I'll buy them later. Right, let's grab some treasure maps. Let's go ahead and get that Lord of Clover from him. Yeah. Luckily I have a lot of money. And if you talk to him, you can actually buy maps from him. I'll go ahead and buy all his maps. Marital mm. Farms. Yep. Okay, so that's the last Marital Farms treasure. Okay. Mm. Steps plateau. Nice. So we're gonna get another map from him. Okay, light water. Mm. Okay, light water is another one. Okay, block shot. Mm. Yeah, basically, you want to buy all the maps. I'm just gonna buy them all, so I don't have to worry about it. Alright. And we bought all the maps from him. <laughs> yep. The maps are really useful. It's like, um, you're gonna get back from your investment pretty much right away, usually. There's actually one nearby, too. I'm gonna grab that. I like his model, actually. Gord's model is really nice compared to the other Skeeth models. Like his hair looks really good. Okay. Got that treasure. Ooh, cover our with broken textures. <laughs> oh, that's alright. It still works. Hopefully. Uh, stop shooting me. Okay, this should lead to. Buckshot. Okay, so it's Buckshot. I know the one, I think, over there? There's another path, like, somewhere over there. That leads to Market Town. You don't have to worry about that. We're gonna go to Brightvale. The nice thing is that you can just follow the crests uh, for Brightvale without having to open the map. It's really nice. Okay, let's go on down. Oh, and look, it changed. It's not purple over here. Looks like it hasn't gone to Brightvale yet, luckily. This area is absolutely huge for a front area of a castle. Okay, let's see. There's actually a save point over here, so just know it's near the bridge. I think most people don't. It, this one's not as useful to me because there's another safe spot just right inside the castle. So. Okay. Over there leads to a crypt. If you look at the map. Um, that one I've never actually been able to finish because it always bugged out on me. So we'll have to see. I might have to look into like some other streams to see if anybody ever finished it. But we'll see. Uh, hopefully in this stream I can. That might have to be its own video. But anyways, here's Bright Veil. Vale. Talk to the guards. If you notice, the guards are wearing <coughs> Bright Veil vale attire. They must be dealt with. Ah, a new customer. How may I be of service? Rumor has it that you are the best at what you do. I have need of such services. My prices are quite high. Oh, yes. Your offer is quite generous. I'll take care of them immediately. Alright, and yeah, there was- sorry about that, I forgot about that cutscene. But yeah, apparently she's kind of sad. An assassin. Great. <laughs> so that's Gellert Assassin. He actually does have his own card too. I think there was actually a misprint with this card originally, because they listed him as a loop, not a Gellert. 
It's kind of funny because his name is the Gellert Assassin. <laughs> Here we are in Brightvale. Okay, Brightvale's a little bit different. It's like a walled-in city compared to Merido. I feel like it's safer. <laughs> hmm. I think they're quite pretty. Uh -huh. Until you get under them, lady. So yeah, there's a bunch of stores here. We'll, we'll check them out in a little bit. Oh dear. Okay, we can talk to some NPCs later. So let's go up to the castle. There will be cutscenes, so yeah. Okay, let's go on up. This guy's one of the knights. We'll talk to some of the NPCs a little bit more later. Mia Mas, you're just running around. Hmm. Yeah, he's purple colored Drake, huh? Alright, let's go on over. Anything on the sides? Nope. Alright, that's going in. Okay. Now we're inside uh, the castle. Uh? A knight of Merido. Okay. And actually, I think if you switch to Roberta, he'll acknowledge Roberta. Like, it's, it's a little bit different between the two. Let's go in. So this is going to be a cutscene, so yeah. My most esteemed lord and master, King of Brightvale, may I present your niece and premier diplomat, the most gracious lady, Roberta. He knows who I am. Fall back. I didn't see Salarum arrive. What news from Fairyland? Good news, I trust. Fairyland has fallen, Uncle. Overcome by the same forces that overwhelmed Meridel. But that's not possible. Fiora was our only hope. We must get Saradar on this right away. He's fallen as well, Uncle. The claws change Neopets, sire. It drives them mad. Your sorcerer is now one of them. Then... Then there is no hope. My advisors say the clouds will be upon us in less than three days. It has already swallowed Bogshot and Market Town. There is some hope, Uncle. These amulets, they offer protection against the clouds. We were charged to keep them on us at all costs. If we can enter the clouds and find the source of their dark magic, we might find a way to stop them. This sounds awfully dangerous for a diplomat. Maybe another should... I never wanted to be a diplomat! I'm a sorceress! To be fair, sire, I've seen her use her spell. She's quite good. Really, she is. It seems I've little choice in the matter. So be it. You are charged as champions of Bright Vale to find the source of this evil and put an end to it. And son... Yes, sire? Take good care of her. So now we just met King Hagen, who's um, Skarl's brother. So, yeah. Alright, so I wonder how Roberta's his niece, though. But, anyways, I think in Neopets, the like, species aren't exclusive, family exclusive or anything. So, yeah, that's just something to note. Hmm. He's quite a bit different from Skarl. Yeah, we're on our own. I can do whatever advice I can. Hmm. Yeah. I think like if you go back to him like once in a while, he'll like acknowledge things that you've done. Okay, so this is guy over here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Returning me determining the root of this evil, yeah, that's the most important thing. So yeah, he's actually the only knight that gets like unique colored armor in the game. <laughs> okay. Uh there's gonna be a cutscene here, so um yeah, protect your ears. First things first. We need to do some research to see if this has happened before. But how? Where do you find information on purple clouds? You do have books in Meridel, right? The king has a library. 
but I've heard he just uses it to impress princesses. Well, Brightvale prides itself on its books. The Royal Library has practically every book ever written. There must be something there. Come on! Right, conveniently, yeah, Brightvale does have a lot of books, so they're kind of famous for knowledge. Well, Merida's more about strength. She kind of makes sense. You can kind of see it in their interactions. Okay, so let's... Uh, before we go into the... Um, the library, we're going to go and do a couple things around the castle. Okay. So yeah, uh, the library should be oh, down here. We'll, we'll check that in a second. But right now, there's a couple of side things that you can do in Meridal, uh, Brightville Castle. Sorry. Brightville Castle is a little bit smaller. Then Merida. Merida's huge in comparison. So, let me check out the map. It's not that much. Okay. Uh, let's go over here. Okay, so there's a couple rooms over here. Okay, we'll talk to that lady in a second. Um, I think this is... Let's see if it's... Oh! <laughs> Roberta's tra wand. <laughs> My old training... Oh. Oh, shoot. <laughs> that's that's not your store. That's Roberta. So she now has her training one. So yeah, make sure you get that one just to you know, um don't don't skip over that. Okay, I'm just gonna presume this is Saradar's room. Just because it has like the magic implements. Okay, so here's a chest. I think it's uh air Oh water? It's always the one I get this stuff with. And you know what? If you're not sure, just no one mode it. There you go. Wow. Man, the effects are so loud sometimes. Oof. It's a silver egg. It's a silver egg. Full health restoration. I'll switch it to her real quick because it's, it's less blasty. Huh. It's funny to me that she concluded that the amulets were protecting them. <laughs> okay, like she just concluded that immediately. Okay, so this lady here. You can actually see the courtyard, even though we can't actually go into it here. Mm, that's our only view of the courtyard. Okay, so this lady here, this is actually, if you remember. Oops, go to the quest. Golden Rose. So this is actually Princess Donna, Brightvale Castle. There she is. Yeah. Prince Torin. <sighs> so yeah, the Gallard Prince is Prince Torin. Huh? Oh! Huh? Oh! Oh my God, her ears. <laughs> yes, I will marry him. Oh, thank you. Uh. Okay. Please take the treasure of my bed chest. Hey! And if you see my love again, please give him these letters. Okay, so, yep, she gave us a bunch of letters. Here's the thing, though. Last time I saw him, he was in Meridel, and <coughs> Meridel's kind of not accessible right now. Oh, Red Nick. Oh, nice. Oh, that was a good treasure. Nice. So, yeah, here's the thing, though, is that if you did not do the Prince Torin quest in Act 1, you're not going to be able to access that quest. I think you still access that chest, but you still, but you can't um, actually uh, continue the quest. So her giving the letters and stuff. And this should be the library over here. Okay, let's go on down. Let's go check out the library. Yeah. The other cool thing is that uh, Brightville, it's brighter than Meridale Castle, but it also has different music. Which I think is pretty cool. Right, let's head on in. Okay. Those books on the upper shelves hold many tales of forgotten lore. Mm. Hmm, they're a little out of reach though. Yeah. So as you can tell by the camera moving around, we have to go to those upper uh, books. <laughs> We're looking for some information on purple clouds. Mm. Are you finding portable clouds? Mm. Blah 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 blah. That's actually a reference to the website. 
<laughs> no, purple sunset. <laughs> Enslaved people. Dark fairy mm. magic. Okay. <laughs> Look at Thor's face, too. And this guy's pushing me. Great. Mm. She's quite a mess. Oh, great. So, yeah, we're gonna have to um, somehow get to these upper areas without. Um, I, even though we don't have ladders, which is kind of annoying. Why would they do that? So you can get like a puzzle involved, I guess. Okay, so what you're gonna do is... Oh. I can want to talk to some of the NPCs. Okay, so this guy's a lord, this lady... Hmm. Lady Bonova? Over here for reading. <laughs> Mm, okay, I think that's all of it. I was gonna go over here and go ahead and hop on here. Okay. Yep, so that platform, go ahead and hop on it. It will move the bookshelf. So you can actually talk to this guy again and he'll. Mm. Hey. He actually has like a lot to say. Mm. Mm. I have some marital history. Uh -huh. Okay, so he's like dropping clues everywhere. Okay, so this is the same thing. Yeah, one of the things that... Um, so there is a small community of people who play this game. And actually one of the things that I guess people haven't done is actually record all of the dialogue. I haven't seen anybody do that. Unless there is one, if you know it, like go ahead and like, uh, you know, maybe send a link down below. I'd really like to see that. So yeah, moving this uh, bookshelves, we're able to read it now. The darkest fairy. Okay, she returned, having obtained greater powers and destroyed the city she helped found Altador. And coincidentally, all the bookshelves moved. <laughs> okay, that was a legendary city. Makes the darkest fairy really old. Okay, let's check out the other books. Okay, there's actually some more books here. Very clean. Yeah. So hopefully this could be something we could use um, as I'm reading through all of the texts. Um, could be something to archive, maybe. Listen's Revenge. That's actually a reference to the Doggo Fox thing uh, that Skull mentions in Act One. Serpent of Box Shot Swamp. Hmm. Black Knight. No, <laughs> Info in King's Row. I'm pretty sure we've read some of these books already. There's no like list that keeps track of them or anything like that. It'd be nice if there was. Like a lore thing. Okay, let's go ahead, let's go. Okay, up over here. Up over here. Alright, now we can read this book. The destruction of Altador. Okay, it took the powerful magic of Fiora's wand to stop people once to advance. Okay, ah, so Queen Fiora was the one who defeated the Darkest Fairy. Okay, it's an artifact called Fiora's Rod. <laughs> the book says Fiora's Wand, it's actually Fiora's Rod. So if we find Fiora's Rod, we can stop the Darkest Fairy. Yes! Okay, find research on Fiora's Rod. I think this gave actually. What are you doing? You put the section on fairy secrets over next to the last cow series. You have no sense of organization. I think in an earlier part, he actually says like, Oh, what a smart idea, moving the bookshelves around. So he actually changes dialogue every time. Huh. Interesting. Alright, yeah, so that's something to note. Um, looks like he does change dialogue every time we move the books, so... I missed some bits of dialogue there. There's actually some books in between this area too. There we go. Okay. I wonder if there's possible to access the files for those books. Because right, they seem to be just image files that are spawned in when you click the books. Well, not spawned in, but like, you know, viewable. Okay, jump here. Kings of Merido. Okay, so... The king. So one of the kings of Meridol got the wand. 
is D. That might be Fiora's Red. Okay, that means Fiora's Red and Meridel. Yeah. Okay, now where, where's the treasure vault that he put it in? Okay, oh, I missed it. But this that last book right there. Let's see what he has to say. <laughs> because my precious story. Poor guy. He's just like, I'm gonna cry now. Oof, this audio. The audio is so rough. Okay, where's the last ladder? Okay, I think it's over here. Just go ahead, go on up. Up. And over here. Okay, uh, this one's a little bit. You gotta be kind of a little bit careful. You might fall off. Okay. Meadow Castle's history. Artists rendering past castles. Okay, so basically, that oh, why starts laughing. What the heck? And it's not the darkest fairy. We need Fiora's rod, and we can find the wand in the treasure vault under Marital Castle. All right, we just need to get into the castle dungeons and retrieve the wand. Now let's get to Marital Castle. However, um, if you get to Bar Marital Castle, you know you have to repair the bridge. Right, because you can't get there. <laughs> Where's the nearest safe spot? Yeah, so um, basically this is going to start a whole chain of different things that um, makes Act 3 the longest act in the entire game. And there's going to be like a lot of different side quests and part of the main quest but also a ton of side quests. So this is going to be, it's going to take quite a while but it's going to be fun. Anyways. I'm gonna go ahead and stop the stream here uh, just because uh, the next part is going to take a while and I don't want this video to get any longer than it needs to be. My goal is to play the game, to play the next parts of the game in um, chrono not chronological but like the game's logical story order. Uh, it'll make more sense as I play along but in this next part here um, you can actually play, um, you can actually go to each of the areas in any order you want. So uh, that includes the farms, uh, Cogham, uh, Bogshot, Werelip Woods, and what's the last one? Uh, Market Town. You can, get, you can do those in any order you want. I'm just going to be using the logical, chronological order. So uh, the quest would have told you go towards Meridel. The Meridel Bridge is broken, so activating this quest here. Um, so the logical thing would be to go to Bokshot. Okay, so we're gonna go go to Bokshot and um, we're gonna see what's going on over there. Alright, um, hope you guys are enjoying that. Um, you know, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. All right. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye!